Hey everyone, Scott with Air Gunner Reviews. So today we're going to go over three habits that can actually damage your Berna pistol if you are doing it. So let's get right into it. The first one is using Crossman CO2 Powerlets. Specifically, they call them out as not to use them on their website. Now, this would include your SDXL model or the ones that have your burn up boost. It does not specifically say the LE model. However, I wouldn't trust using them on that. So if you look right on their website, right here in big black, it says Berna does not recommend using the Crossman CO2 power lets. What it says on here is that it may not puncture correctly, but I think over time, it possibly could damage your uh, Berna. So for that reason, I won. I've been using the Umarex brand, seem to be holding up fine. But I think anytime a company uh, states something like "do not use a particular brand," you probably shouldn't be using it. Now the second thing, and this is kind of based on my uh, my YouTube channel, people telling me that they're, what they're using, what they're doing. So the other one, which is also CO2 related, is adding either a silicone base on top of your uh, power let before you put it in or your CO2, or a Pelgon oil, which is the old Crossman. Those are both no-nos, so don't be adding these. Um, for one thing, this is, I believe these are um, a petroleum, from yeah, petroleum-based oil. You don't want to use petroleum-based oil on a Berna. You also do not want to use the reliable, um, any type of 100% silicone, which is kind of surprising. What they recommend is a mineral oil. What they're using is a mineral lubricant oil. So this is what you would be using, and it's in your manual. Every 500 shots were as needed, which I'm not exactly sure what that means. But this is what I'm going to be using. Um, so you could be, and it also says not to overuse it. So um, again, by using something every time you put a power lead or, or a CO2 cartridge in, um, that is not going to be good for your burnout. And the third thing that I've heard everybody or a lot of people say they're doing is adding an extra projectile into their burner. Now I want you to notice that my CO2, um, there is no CO2 in here. So what happens is this, if you were to add, and this is what people are saying they're doing, whether it's you have a five round or a seven round. And again, it's also in the manual not to do it. So what they're talking about is that you take your seven round or five round magazine, you slip it in and the projectile goes up into the barrel. You remove it and then you add another one on top and then you put it back into your burner like that. Okay, this over a period of time can damage it and I will tell you why. Let me just remove this real quick. What happens when you shoot? You're going to notice this barrel is going to go inside. Can you see that go right inside? It's no longer there. And come back out. Okay, so what that's doing is it's going in and it's covering your projectile right before it shoots it out. So as you can see here, how far down this is compressed. So now you're sticking it in here. And one gets in there now, it's not that compressed. You can see all the springs right, right there. It's not so bad. So then what happens is this is, has very little pressure to it. So that enables the, um, the barrel to move back freely. But once you add a, another one in here and you stick it in here, now is getting much harder for that barrel because you're putting that much more pressure on it. See, it does go in, but it's much harder. And when you pull that first trigger pull, you'll notice that it's definitely much harder than the ones before that. This is gonna be a no-no. Over a period of time, uh, this will damage your, your burner uh, because it's not meant to be forced. 
And that's basically what you're doing. You're putting that much more force into it. So these are the three things that you don't want to do. And again, they might not damage it right away. It's just like using the wrong oil in your vehicle. Um, it won't damage it right away, but it's certainly not helping it. Um, putting extra tension on something that's not supposed to have it by using another projectile. Again, that's not, that's not a good thing. And, um, and also again, with the Crossman using Crossman, um, that could also damage over a period of time, uh, the piercing of the CO2. So I'm kind of surprised in some ways Berna hasn't made this type of video, but I don't believe they have. Anyhow, those are the three things that you should kind of stay away from. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and just subscribe and I will catch you next time.